In this example, we're going to look at a more complicated dimensional analysis problem. What we see here is we're starting with our miles per hour and inches per second. So we have what I would call compound units. So a simple unit is something like meters or just feet or inches or liters. So if I had 16 liters, that would be a simple unit. And typically, that's where we're going to start problems at with that simple unit. However, in this case, we don't have that option because we start with a compound unit. So if we have a simple unit, we want to start with the simple unit. We don't, so we're going to start with this relationship because that's the only number we know in this case. So we see that we've got miles per hour, so we've got miles and inches, so we see, well, those are both distances, those are related to one another, and we see hours and seconds, and those are both times, so there are relationships between those. But it's how we get this compound unit from miles per hour to inches per second. So what we're going to do is start with the 55 miles per hour. Now a couple of things. One, notice that even though it was written sideways, so miles slash hours here, when I wrote it to solve the problem, I wrote it miles over hours. These mean the same thing, but writing it top and bottom makes it a lot easier to see what units are getting canceled. Writing it this way when you're setting up a dimensional analysis problem can make things a little confusing sometimes. Now, we don't see a number on the bottom, but remember, if there's no number there, we can assume that to be 1. So if you want, if it makes you feel better, you can write a 1 there. Either way is fine. So we have 55 miles per hour, and I know I'm trying to get to inches per second, so I'm going to start with the miles to inches part. Now, the only reason I start with that is because miles on top. If you want to go from hours to seconds first, that's fine. You're going to do all of the same steps. It just may vary in order that you do them. So the first thing I'm going to do is say, okay, I've got miles on top. I know I need to get rid of miles, which means it needs to go on the bottom. And I know I'm trying to get from miles to inches. Now, I don't know directly from miles to inches, but I do know miles to feet, okay, and I know feet to inches, okay. So now if I looked at this, I could say, well, miles cancel with miles, feet cancel with feet, and then I've got inches left. So I haven't put any numbers because I'm focusing first on the units. Now, if I stopped the problem at this point, I would have units of inches per hour. So that's closer to what I want to get, but I need to deal with the time issue as well. So before I move on to the time, I'm going to go back and put my numbers in here. So one mile is 5,280 feet. One foot is 12 inches. Now I'm going to focus on the time part. So I've got hours on the bottom, therefore hours has to go on the top because remember I want them to cancel out and if one is on the bottom, the other must be on the top. So I have hours on top. I'm going to put minutes on the bottom because I know a relationship there. One hour is to 60 minutes. Then I can say, okay, one minute, okay, and seconds are related and I can say, well, one minute is 60 seconds. Now I can go back and cancel out my, whoops, didn't mean to do that cancel out hours with hours and minutes with minutes. Now when I look at the units I have left, I have inches and I have seconds. So I have inches in the numerator and seconds in the denominator. So my answer is going to be in units of inches per second. So this is how many inches the car would travel for every second. So now all that's left to do is do the calculation. So I have 55 times 5,280 times 12 divided by 60 divided by 60. And I end up with 968 inches per second. So I have to check for my sig fig. So 55 is not, a, is not an exact number. So that's got two sig figs. 5,280 feet per mile, that's a definition, so if that's an exact number. 12 inches in a foot, 60 minutes an hour, 60 seconds in a minute. These are all exact numbers. So the only value I have to worry about for sig figs is my 55. So I need two sig figs in my answer. So I need to round this to two sig figs, and also I'm going to change it to scientific notation so I can avoid that ambiguous zero in the answer, because I don't want to put 970, because then we don't know whether the zero is significant or not. So I get 9.7 9 times 10 to the 2 inches per second.